What's up YouTube, Tommy here from Green Rhino. I've been documenting my journey on this channel from a part-time hustle as a machinist to operate in a very successful cleaning company. My goal is to show you what I was looking for when I was starting out, sharing the cleaning solutions I use, the equipment, so I can help others thinking about getting into the cleaning industry. And maybe, just maybe, I'm gonna make that first step. It can change your life like it did me. Don't worry industry, I'm not trying to be the know-it-all carpet cleaning, but I am trying to be an example of what could be. Alright guys, so as you grow as your carpet cleaning business, maybe you've been in the business for a while now or just starting it, you're going to start talking to your customers as you show up their house and, and uh, evaluate the uh, carpets. And you're going to find that a lot of customers have used other companies that um, they didn't call back. And what I do is I always kind of, you know, I ask questions, you know, was there a reason why? You know, so I don't make those mistakes. And you're going to find out a lot of the times they're going to say, well, it looked great when they were here and they cleaned. But uh, they got dirty really quickly, especially in these areas. Okay. So this tells me, right from the get-go, these people were using high pH cleaners and not rinsing. Okay? This is the reason why I stick to my neutral pH, just above neutral pH cleaner. And I know many other people are starting to do it a lot more now. Um, also encapsulation cleaner, so anything that's left behind crystallizes and isn't like a soapy residue based kind of cleaning. Old school, basically. So if you want to turn your customers into clients, not only do they need to look good when you clean, they need to stay clean for a long time. Yes, I know. It's really temptation tempting just to kind of always break out to high pH, you know, makes for a real easy cleaning a lot of the times. But really, do you want to, do you want to trade? Do you want to trade uh, a, a short-term customer for a long-term client? Because that's what you're going to be risking. I base my business off building clients, not not just always new customers. If that's your business business model, and you're fine with that business model, then hey, high pH all day, go for it. Um, you're gonna be paying a lot more for advertising. Every year it's gonna be the same. Advertising, advertising, advertising. Now I'm not saying if you use high pH cleaners a lot, that uh, you still can't um, build clients. Right? But you remember, you gotta do it right. You, you need to use a rinse, okay? A rinse is something that breaks the, uh, neutralizes the pH and rinses all the residue out. Um, sorry, there's a, a fire over here. Heading out to the country right now. I'm gonna do some work. So, so my business model is uh, middle class, upper class clients. Um, about 10, uh, well, I'd say about 20% of the time. 
I'm going to is a repeat customer, my client. Love the job we did last time. Love the customer service. Give us a great review. Um, and call me back. So last time I did one room, or a living room area for. Today we're doing five areas. So I'm gonna do uh, one enzyme, meaning one one room enzyme, and the rest cleaning. guys so I'm gonna have to go ahead and do a quick vacuum through here uh, we're gonna do two enzymes um, two rooms for enzymes for pet treatment and uh, the rest clean large room here so this room right here is counted as two rooms because it's the size of it so that's how I do my estimates got a little bit of spots here and there but um this room it's not enough to where I, I charge it, uh, enzymes there's another room that's got a little bit more what is it use areas So I already had this mixed up, my pre-spray. I went ahead and mixed up some, some pet treatment, about a gallon's worth. I want to mix up a little bit more of this actually. And then uh, go ahead, I'm gonna go around now and hit all those uh, pet problems, all right? quick guys if you're thinking about getting into the carpet cleaning business i do offer a step-by-step -step course down below all my videos there's a link not just the technical side of it but the business side of it how to get those customers to call you also the tools i love and use down below also now back to the video guys time for the backpack and I'm gonna pre-spray everything
Okay guys, so we're out here in the country and there's flies, there's bugs, there's even snakes out here. So um, customers kind of wanted to keep the door closed as much as possible, but she was definitely okay with me having it open, but this is what this is for. I don't pull it out too often, but when I do, it's, it's needed and it makes a good impression. This is a sill door. I'm gonna go ahead and cover up the door here. Okay, so I'm gonna do some pre-scrubbing. Um, I'm only gonna go in the areas that need it. A lot of people kind of go overboard with the pre-scrubbing. If you're working by yourself, just focus on the areas that need it. The pre-spray is gonna do the rest. Alright guys, I'll finish up customer was super happy. Um, very grateful that I come out here and you know address the situation. Her dogs, you know, they like that living room area, you know, beautiful place, beautiful place, but you know, pets sometimes they just don't want to cooperate. What's up with that?